ready, Alex? I'm ready, baby. Let's get Let's him, do bro. It. Coming for you, dog. Get ready. Get ready, bro. morning you guys back again today with another video today we are out in the Florida Everglades and I wanted to start things off a little different today so I got some packages in the mail from Amazon last night and I was thinking about doing an unboxing at home but I was like nah let's do something a little bit different I asked everybody on Instagram I was like where should I go next everybody was like hit up the Everglades so here we are gonna unbox some new gear that Casking sent me super excited to check it out gonna show it to you guys we're gonna unbox it set it up and use it today so stay tuned all right so first thing that I got right here is a really nice little rod package right here some of these things I've already opened up in anticipation to coming here today and doing some fishing so let's see if I can get this out there's a little bit of a foam piece protecting it there we go this is gonna be a pair of G2 setup right here spinning let's go ahead and get it opened up all packaged up real nice as you guys can see they put foam on each end keep it nice and secure plastic around the actual rod itself keeps it nice clean on the way out for delivery so Take a look at that, that's a brand new Perigee from Cast King. Now this is gonna be a medium setup. It's gonna be 7-1, fast action, really good for bass fishing, light finesse setup, throw some trick worms, some Senkos and that kind of deal. So we're gonna go ahead and test this out today. Put it on the new uh, Cast King Sharky 3, which I got in the packaging inside. So I'm gonna bring that out now. We're gonna get it all spooled up, all set up, it's gonna be awesome. Don't pollute you guys. Everything you take with you, you take it back home. Don't leave it behind. There's all kinds of wildlife out here. Let's try to conserve it. All these kind of places, the governments are trying to take it away from us, shut them down. So make sure we keep everything as clean as possible. Just a little thing to plug in there. All of this is going right back in the Tahoe. All right, so a couple other things that I wanted to show you guys next. These are things that I opened up at the house because I was receiving these packages and little progressions and I wasn't sure what it was because we get a lot of things at the house. I knew the rod was the casking rod, but I wasn't sure why other packages were. So I also received some brand new Cast Pro. See if you guys see it there. There's a little bit of shadow here. Beautiful sunrise coming up here in South Florida. So we got the all new Cast Pro made in the USA from Spectra fibers. This is really high quality stuff. I got it on both of my bait casters right now. Um, throwing 50 pound over there, but this is going to be some 20 pound combat green uh, braided lines. Worked really well for me so far, so I'm super pumped about it. All of these products, I'm going to link them down below as well as my other products, just in case you guys are curious. But this stuff right here is the newest and greatest braid coming out from Cast King right now. You guys got to check it out. Go online, take a look at it. I know you guys are probably thinking, oh well, everybody's using Spectra fibers, but it's not the same. We actually make these braided spools out of a biodegradable spool which is industry leading nobody else is doing that right now this decomposes in a landfill a lot faster than any other product out there and aside from the bio spool that comes with the cast pro the diameter on the braided line is really thin really high quality it's something you guys really got to check out i've been using it haven't had any break offs haven't even had any braid pop off so i'm really impressed with this new line so far and the big thing man made in the usa i love that and we also got a cast king rod sleeve all of this stuff you guys can bundle it all up save some money sometimes and save some money on shipping you know so that was pretty cool i got the rod sleeve to protect it all of my rods have rod sleeves it's just something that i like to do whether i'm in the car transporting them, things roll on them or on the boat it's a much needed accessory definitely something you guys should get all right so we got three things unpackaged already well kind of unpackaged definitely got the rod unpackaged now what you guys are probably all waiting for is the new sharky 3 from casking now this is a reel that i've been really looking forward to getting and it is finally here i'm super excited about this this is all new for 2018 the sharky 3 it has a really cool finish let's get right into it i don't want to take too much time i want to go out fishing you know what i mean so initially right out the box that's what you guys get right there nicely packaged up you put it together, it all comes separate, so it's nice, clean fit into the packaging. Really small, lightweight reel. A couple quick features, just so you guys can note on, on this reel. It's gonna come with a five, two to one gear ratio. So it's pretty quick, nothing crazy. 10 plus one ball bearings in it, so it's gonna be ultra smooth, buttery smooth. Take a look at that. Beautiful. And I really like the overall finish. The black and red is just really sweet it's something else it looks incredible so like i said this is the 2000 size you can get pretty good amount of braid on this is actually saltwater ready too so for you guys that 
follow me because you guys like saltwater fishing and freshwater fishing. This is a reel you guys gotta check out. If you're gonna go out saltwater fishing, this is really good for trout, you know, inshore snook, inshore, you know, maybe some redfish, depending on where you're fishing. Maybe you're fishing open water. If you're fishing the mangroves, it might be a little bit light. You might want to size up to like a 4,000, 5,000. But for this instance, I did want a finesse setup. So I picked up the Sharky 3 in a 2,000 size. I think this would be more inadequate. Like I said, it's going to be a finesse reel. Throwing Senkos, throwing really light tackle stuff. So we're going to put a little bit of 20 pound braid on there and tip it off with some mono. And it should be game, man. We're going to get out there. We're going to slay some fish and let's get to it. The new Sharky 3 with the Pair G2 combo, it's gonna be epic. Now the cool thing about these new Sharky 3s is that they are braid ready. So you don't gotta worry about backing up your uh, your spool with mono. It'll cinch right onto that braid ready spool and you're off to the races. So that right there, like I said guys, is the new Cast King Sharky 3 with the Pair G rod. And then I got it protected by the Cast King rod sleeve. Let's go fish, come on, let's go fish. First fish, baby, there we go. Oh, I like this rod. Nice and light. Mm, he's swimming. That's a good one. Maybe. Oh, oh, no, 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 I didn't want this to be the first fish. <laughs> oh my goodness. First fish on the new combo, you guys. Man, he put up a good fight. He got me fooled there for a second until he showed himself. Oh, they are such a cool looking fish, but man, they are a nuisance out here in the Everglades. Well, we've officially broken the ice on the brand new combo. I gotta say, I really like the action on it. You literally feel every single head shake. Hopefully the next one will be a bass. There, you go. there we go, that's a bass. There you go. That's a squeaker. There you go. That's a squeaker. <laughs> there you go guys, the species we are after, but definitely not the size, but hey, second fish on the new setup, man. I'm, I'm pumped, I am pumped right now. It's a fish. It's a fish, I just need to up the size of the fish. See you later, bud. What happens when you finesse fish? Oh boy, Alex is putting a hurting on us. Look at that wake. Oh yeah, first big one of the day. All right, you guys, so there you go. First, first fish big of the bass day. on the boat, officially on the spook. Chartreuse spook, huh? Oh, look at that. The chartreuse. Got a little tournament going on right now. John is over there, cross. You guys saw him running earlier. But, yep, Alex is putting a hurting on us right here. We're gonna get ahead and Measure this fish real quick, get a weight. We're doing a one fish limit today. Big bass wins. Where's the weight? Two. Hold on, I can't see. Is this see? Two five, two point five one. Two point five one. Two and a half pounds. There you go, guys. Sweet. Beauty. All right. There we go. Oh, on the board. What is that, Oscar? Another Oscar. <laughs> Big ol' Oscar. Oh, I think I got one. There we go. Don't tell me that's another bow. That is a little tiny squeaker. Squeaker! <laughs> wow. Now that's a little fish. You could almost use that as a swim bait. Squeaker, and all I had to do was just lift the rod up. <laughs> He was so close to the boat. I didn't have to reel in once. There you go. Switched up to a little weighted Texas rig and boom, second cast. <laughs> Holy crap. Like, Dude, this guy, this guy, uh, let's just say he wanted it. Had to go and do this. Now I gotta whip out some pliers. Here we go. That's a better little bass. That's a nicer bass. Oh, he might take the lead. That's a better bass. I mean, it's obviously not not as good as your two and a half, but it might be better than John's. I think I got you, bro. Five. No, I think I got you. I think I just took over second place. Ah! Ah! Woo! Trying to come back, kid. <laughs> Damn, is he dark or what? Bam, baby. Choke that yeah, Senko. Be a negative somewhere. Loving this new combo, man. So uh-oh, I think we got a customer. Customer's knocking? Yes, sir, a little one though. Not as big as the last one, but he got some spunk to him. Right. right in front of that saw guy sticking out. Got something? Oh man, John's getting tight over there. You don't want to talk? Oh! Yeah. Oh, there you, oh, go. There you go, look at that. 
Oh nice. yeah, get it closer. <laughs> Chunky little closer. bass. Long arm it, long arm it, you know. So five there you go, that's a 10 pound. Right, we are about to get an official weight right here. We got a very close competition right now. Alex got a 2.51 that we weighed in earlier. This is Sun. Sun. Show it to the camera. 2.79. Sun. <laughs> 2.79. Does it still say 2.7? 2.82. Uh, went up. That? Two, two point eight almost two. a three pound. Oh. Take over the first Whoa. place. Spot. What time is it? What oh. time? How much more I got? <laughs> Dude. Oh, we got a close competition right now. Alex <laughs> got the two point five one. Only three, but that that makes that's him a, heavy. That's dude. a that's a bluegill in there. <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't doubt it. Good job, buddy. That was a good one. Quick little update. Nice. I'm gonna let this guy. Go. Let him go, man. Yeah, guys, we are having nice little a little friendly counter. today out here. Yeah, he right there where he came out of. We're pre-fishing right now. These guys are going to be competing this weekend against yeah. each other. We're competing against each other today. Let me, but, take, let me take a swing at this spot. There you go. Alex it's trying to... Right here, it's right here. It's been awesome so far. Just trying to keep you guys updated. So we got two fish under three pounds, but they look pretty nice. I'm way behind right now. I got maybe a pound and a half big About fish damn time, like 20 dying right now. In. Oh, Alex is on again. Biggin. Biggin. That's a good one. good one. Might not beat the first one still, but still. Actually, that's pretty good. Nice. I don't think it's better than the first one, though. Skinny, he's skinny. Though. He's, 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 he's spawned, spawned out. out. Spawned out. Look at, look at the, look at the... Yeah, he's all spawned out. Poor little guy. Good job, bro. Alright you guys, so we are back at the house right now. Super long day on the water, but I got to do everything that I originally set out to do. I got to unbox the new gear set it all up and take it out on the water for the ultimate journey and testing it on my first day. And I, again, I wanted to kind of give my overall impressions on what I thought of the setup. I thought it performed very well. I put it in two different types of scenarios during the day today. We were fishing a deep water canal and then towards the end of the day we switched it up to a, a really grassy flat that had some lily pads in it, some rocks, kind of like a little different uh, scenario compared to what we did throughout, throughout the day. And I got to catch fish in both situations and I really got to put the rod to the test, put the drag to the test on the reel. And I gotta say overall, it performed way above expectations. I really thought it performed very well. The setup was really light. I barely felt it even in my hands all day. I kept telling Alex, I kept telling John, man, this thing is so light, it's so sensitive. I feel everything, literally every little single bite, boom, boom, you feel it. It's really, really, the rod is extremely sensitive. Medium power, fast action, 7-1. I gotta say, I really, really dig it. Uh, look out for some future videos where I compare it to my uh, previous spinning rod combo, which is valued at around $300. So I think that's gonna be a cool video to do in the future. Overall, today's video, I think I accomplished everything that I wanted to accomplish for myself. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'm gonna link it down below, affiliate links for Casking. If you guys wanna check it out, I think you guys are gonna love this setup. It's a really awesome reel. You're gonna be seen in a lot of videos down the road. So, so yeah, man, that's gonna wrap it up for today's video. If you guys have any questions, on the new combo, drop them down below in the comment section. Tell me what you want to know. I'll try to answer it to the best of my abilities. Check out the Cast King channel if you guys haven't yet. Subscribe, subscribe to my YouTube channel, all that fun stuff. And until that next video, we'll catch you later. Peace.